if you have some empty space about 4 meters by 4 meters or 5 meters at least and if you have time maybe 3 to 5 minutes per day every day I think it's good to have chicken because chicken can help to get rid of garbage get rid of the, the scrap from our kitchen leftover food and it's good for kids too if you have kids they love to play with chicken and have chicken eggs it's fun there are many kind of chicken if you want to have a chicken it's good to study the variety of chicken in your area which kind is fit with your environment with your climate because some of them maybe don't like very cold some of them may be okay to be in cold climate so think about the eggs too what kind lay more eggs and what kind is resist to disease or something some problem in each area very different it's good to study very well before we start to have the chicken we are in Colorado now. We have a few varieties that we have here that is work very well with the climate here. We have a uh, wine dot. We have Americana, Bard Rock, Black Austral Lob. How to make the house for the chicken is very important. It depends on the location. Here is quite cold, so the house of the chicken have to be closed very well so the house don't need to be big this one is about two meters by two and a half meters and one and a half meters height that's all this is enough for eight or nine chicken in the chicken house what we need is the room for them to lay eggs we don't need a lot if you have nine or ten chicken you have you need only two two rooms is enough because they like to lay eggs in one place together so don't need to make a lot just one or two is enough and it will be convenient if we have the door to open and close easily like this it will be convenient to get eggs on top of the chicken house it's good to have a vent like this. It's for air circulation. When it's too hot, hot air can come out from here. Another part is the door for the chicken. Here, we have to close it very well. So we need to have a small door like this. So the chicken can walk inside. And we have timer to close an open door. We set up time in the timer to be able to close and open by itself. With this technique, it's safe in case if we don't have time or we forgot to close the door, none, none of our chicken will be left outside. So the timer will work for us. That help a lot. And inside the house of the chicken, it's good to have the rail or the stick for the chicken to sleep. They like to sleep on the stick, on the rail like this. They don't like to sleep on the floor. And this door need to be able to close and open like this. This door have to be big because it's easy for us to remove the chicken dung and leave place, sawdust or straw inside to clean it inside of the chicken house will look simple like this that's not very complicated at all we like to make the chicken house above the ground a little bit at least they have some spot to hide in the hot sun and then they have more space to hang out to run around this will be good for them to get more space. It's very important to 
have the fence around the house. This fence need to be pinned down to the ground very well, because some dog or something can dig in easily. If you live in the area with many stray dog, wild dog, it's good to not use plastic net. All kind of plastic net, they can break in easily. To use the wild net like this is the best. It protects better than plastic net. If you have snake, eagle, bobcat, it's good to cover the whole thing, even the roof. The roof is where the animal that cram up or fly can come in and get the chicken easily. And sometimes chicken can fly over the fence easily if we don't have the net on top. When they are very hungry, when they run out of water or food, they always can fly. But if they have enough, they will not try to go away. If our fence is not good enough, something like this will happen. The raccoon going to come and try to get the food of the chicken, try to get in there. Another night, we have problem with bobcat. They try to get in the chicken house. So it's good to make sure that our fence is good enough. There are many ways to make chicken house, many style. It depends on what you like, what you want it to look like. It depends on your location. It depends on animal in your area. Because some area, you have no predator that they won't come cram up the fence. You don't need to cover the top part of it. And the area that is not too cold, is not no wind, not very bad winter. You don't need to make the chicken house close very well. So it depends on the situation or in that area. So chicken always love to be in the sun. They need some space to be in the sun. They want some hot sand to keep bugs or lice or anything out of them, their body. So they like to scratch, to dig, to scratch the dirt into their body too. That make them healthy. So we need more space in the sun. Water is very important. We always have water in the chicken house all the time because they cannot live without water. For the chicken food, we try to use the pellets from the market as less as we can because if we use pellets only, the, our eggs will be more expensive than we buy eggs from the market. So to have our own food is very important because it will be cheaper and have less hormone. Even we use organic pellets, it's still too expensive for us. So to keep the pellets, mainly we use organic pellets here, but we give it some time when we don't have enough scrap from the kitchen. We use a lot of the scrap from the kitchen or leftover food. We save all the eggshell and dry them in the sun. This is one part of uh, food that we give to our chicken. When we dry them very well, we smash them. It's good to use, to put in the blender, it's a lot easier. But this one I just use hammer. It takes a little bit of time and then make it hit it very fine like this this is good enough to feed the chicken egg shell is very important part of calcium that we need to give to our chicken when they start to lay eggs we give them often we mix with the scrap from the kitchen this one is just noodle it's all noodle that we did not cannot eat them anymore so we can use anything left over from the kitchen. 
even this sauce is expired already it's not good to eat but chicken can eat them so don't worry that our chicken will get sick if we give some bad food to them they know what is good and what is bad they can choose to eat by themselves i raised chicken for many years i use a lot of things from leftover from the kitchen to feed them i give them everything they have no problem even bones fish bones and everything even is rotten it's okay they never get sick from them from the food that we give to them at all so i think it's very cheap and easy if we can train them to eat the scrap from the kitchen because this is the way to decrease the garbage we change the garbage into eggs and then the garbage will be chicken dung and it become compost for our garden also chicken love something green because green give more vitamin and mineral make them more healthy whenever you weed the garden do weeding in the garden or you mow the lawn so don't forget to throw some grass to them they will be very happy to have something green is good for them to have chicken is so much fun especially if you have kids it's the most fun for them to have the chicken that's the one that's a way to learn where is the food come from and then they learn about animals life chicken give you eggs and get rid of garbage in our house and they give us chicken manure chicken poop chicken dung that's what we need for the garden they're always cute and really friendly it's nice to have chicken if you have about three or four people don't have more than five chickens because you will not have enough scrap from the kitchen for them you will buy more food in the market for them it will not fun to invest more money and then you will not eat a lot of eggs every day for sure so don't have a lot of chicken just have enough for yourself that is good enough going home is my book that is available on amazon now please check it out if you want to have something to read